This morning, former Buffalo police officer Cariel Horn held a press conference outside Buffalo Police Headquarters. Horn says she was wrongfully terminated in 2006 after she intervened and stopped another police officer from choking a suspect, which then led to her getting injured. To on your side's Karis Belger joins us live now to let us know what happened at this morning's press conference and also to tell us more about a law that's called Cariel's Law. It's proposed. Hi, Karis. Yeah, good morning, Kelly. Earlier today, not, not just uh, 30 minutes ago, really, Horn was on the steps of the Buffalo Police Department headquarters. She had about a dozen or so more um, supporters around her. They were talking about Cario's Law, which would be in place to support officers who report any wrongdoing that they see in the police department. The other part of this law would also involve action. If an officer did see some sort of wrongdoing or there was something that happened in the field and it was not reported, this was drawn from um, Horn's experiences, as you mentioned, she said she was wrongfully terminated after intervening in an incident with another officer. There will be no retaliation or there will be pro uh, prosecution if there is retaliation. And there will be a registry so officers cannot go from one department to another one where they have a bad record. Now, there's currently a website up with a petition asking for signatures to get support for this. The plan is to present this petition as well as the proposed legislation to the mayor of Buffalo, also to the Buffalo Common Council. I should also mention that there was a lot of emphasis on making sure this was called Cariel's Law, even if there are some other reforms, making sure this in particular was named after Cariel Horn so that the momentum behind her and her story and what happened was not lost. That was something that the advocates who were around her wanted to really drive home. In Buffalo, I'm Karis Belger. Back to you, Kelly. All right, Karis, thank you for your report.